Ha! I'm Mr. Mondi, and in this video I'm going to show you guys everything that's happening within this year's spooky, spoopy Halloween surprise update DLC. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. And the first thing we got going on this week is we have ourselves a brand new podium vehicle, and this thing is the S80RR, which has nothing to do with Halloween. God forbid they give us the cool skull bike as the podium vehicle, but whatever, I guess I'll take this. So if you want this thing, come down to the casino, spin the wheel over there, and see if you can get it for free this week. And for this week's login unlocks, we have the stuff that we've already had before. We have the orange dot tech mask, along with a lemon sports track top and lemon sports track pants. So, if you want to look like a freaking banana or lemon this week with an orange dot tech mask, you can do that for free. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Rockstar. And for the vehicle discounts for this week, we have 40% off the RC tank, which is awesome, along with 30% off the Lurcher, Romeo Hearse, Sanctus, and the Reaper. And if you don't know, like I said before, this week is the spoopy week of all spoopiness. Okay, it's the Halloween update. That's why I have my spooky shirt on. Um, so the Lurcher, the Romeo Hearse, the Sanctus, and uh, it's not on this list because it's not on sale, but I'll put it up all on screen. Everything you see on screen right here are all exclusive vehicles to this update. So if you don't buy it within this week, then you're not going to be able to get it until next year. So if you want any of the stuff you see on screen, buy it this week. Honestly, the vehicles really aren't that good. They're cool looking, but they're not really that good. And if you're thinking about buying the bike, I think it's a really cool bike. Looks awesome, but it drives like crap. Like, absolute crap. The handling on it sucks. The speed sucks. It's just, it's a bad vehicle. So, if you want it, buy it. But I, I don't recommend it if you don't have that much money. But, there you go. And we have some additional discounts. We have 40% off the nightclubs and 30% off nightclub renovations. So, if you want to party in the night, you could do it with a nightclub for 40% off. <laughs> Enjoy that. And this week, yet again, for I've lost track. I don't know if it's 11 or 12 weeks in a row now. I I, I don't like to keep track anymore because at this point, the depression is just getting even deeper. But we have these vehicles are all 50% off. We have 50% off the Torio, Swinger, Sylvester, 190Z, Sterling GT, Rapid GT Classic, Mamba, and Furnace Classic Z-Type, and the Viscerous. There you go. So, if you haven't grabbed those vehicles in the last 11 or 12 weeks... You can do it this week as well. <laughs> yes. Love it. And for this week's money-making opportunities, this week we have three times money in RP on free roam events, which aren't bad. Those are the missions that you don't start, that you're just on the mean streets of GTA and a random mission spawns in. Play it and you'll get three times money off of it, which they're sometimes fun. But then again, oppressors basically always ruin everything. So good luck with that. We also have three times money in RP on bunker slasher adversary mode and the diamond slasher adversary mode. And the missile-based slasher adversary mode. So those three specific ones are three times money in RP this week, which aren't bad. They're a lot of fun to play with, especially with friends. So definitely recommend playing those this week. They're a lot of fun. They're pretty spooky. So have fun doing that. And this week, we also have double money in RP on a ton of different adversary modes. We have Beast vs. Slasher are all double money in RP all week long, which are a lot of fun to play. Along with all of the come out and play adversary modes are double money in RP this week as well. Along with the come out and play and condemned adversary modes are all double money in RP this week as well, which are a lot of fun to play as well. How many times did I just say as well? We also have Lost versus Damned. We also have the Lost versus Damned, which are also double money in RP this week. I won't say it. I won't say it. I have to as well. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, obviously we have the slasher adversary modes that are also double money in RP all week long. And I didn't have to say as well, but I had to say it to tell you I didn't have to say it, so then I said it. Son of a bee sting, you jackass. So yeah, there's all our money-making opportunities this week. Have fun being spooky. Oh yeah, and apparently because I'm blind, there's also nightclub popularity is three times money in RP this week as well. So there you go. I didn't see it the first time. I'm sorry. And for this week, for the spooky festivities, we also have the peyote plants are back in online. And if you don't know what those are, I think there's like 80 or so of them all around the map. They're these little plants, and you can go around, and you can eat them, and then you'll become some kind of animal. And of course, the first one I get is a freaking poodle. Who wants to be a poodle? But then again, you can bite people on the crotch and look adorable while you do it. So, if you want to be a peyote, well, if you want to eat a peyote and be an animal, then just look it up on YouTube. There's tons of tutorials. Well, not really a tutorial, but there's tons of kind of maps on where to find the peyote plants. So, you can become an animal. So, have fun with that. And this week's premium race is Business Trip. The time trial is Fort Zancudo. And the RC time trial is Cemetery. So, if you want to play any of those, make sure you guys play them this week.
And obviously this week is the Halloween update, like I said. So if you don't know, anything that comes with the Halloween update is exclusive to this update. So if you don't buy it this week, next week you won't be able to buy it. So that goes for the vehicles, that goes for the awesome masks, and the awesome face paints. Everybody always loves the masks and the face paints. So make sure if you want a mask, you buy it. Same thing goes with the face paints. They're a little weird with the face paints because you buy one and then you'll buy another one and obviously you have to pay for it again. But once you buy a face paint, it's yours for life. So it's always on your account. But you you have to make sure you buy it so a little pricey to do but just make sure you buy all the face paints and they'll always be on your account so you can buy them anytime you want again and wear them but if you don't buy them right now then next week they'll just disappear and you'll only be able to wear the ones you've already purchased if that makes any sense if you have any questions ask me down in the comment sections and i will answer you but yeah so if it says halloween update then make sure you buy it because it will disappear next week all right guys that is why i'm going to end this video for the day i hope you guys enjoyed this is the first big week we've had in a while which I like. I definitely like it. We got a lot of crap going on. Ooh, I'm not going to get the vehicle. I never get the vehicle. Of course I get clothing. <laughs> a frost camo battle vest. Come on. That's just cheap. And I did want to mention, for those of you guys that didn't watch my live stream this morning, it's because I didn't do one. Reason being is that for some reason GTA just wouldn't work for me. I could not get in a new session to save my life. And it was just kind of boring because I was sitting there trying to get in a new session. Do any of you guys have that issue? And if you do, is there a way I can fix it? Because it's like, I'm in a session, I'll find a new one, and I'll load right back in the same one. And it does that over and over and over again. And it's so boring and annoying and I hate it. I've tried everything and I can't fix it. So if you have it, let me know. And if you know how to fix it, please let me know because it's so irritating. I didn't want to live stream this morning because it was just so boring. And I don't want to bore you guys with that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.